welcome back viewers in this video we will work on delete products and also we will clean up the image from folder which record we has deleted and uh, we have to make sure that users should not delete any record accidentally for that i will make one alert if user click the delete button he will see the alert if he want to delete he can delete that way we can prevent user deleting things accidentally let's start first of all i will go to in bootstrap there i will tap then you say component then model and here i have this model if you see this is here so just copy this all and come to here before ending the for loop i will paste it here and now i will change save change to delete and uh, close to cancel and bt primary to warning and also i will make it btn small and for delete button i will make it danger it will be red and also btn sm small and the model title i will bring the model name here will be model title and now the upper part here i will just come and uh, replace this a with this button you can see the model button here and i will make can make it a little bit closer and give it name of delete and then type is button and here i will make also this one this button background i will make also danger and uh, btn to sm and uh, i will take this model example here will be the name of our product id product dot id and i will pass the id here also should be same for the alert product dot id inside the body i will also make here p tag and i will make them the class of text danger so here i will just give him one warning are you sure that you want to you want to delete the product and i will pass the name of product so user can see the name of that product i will read the product name here should be 2 not 4 and okay now let's see if we are getting the flush or not so my program is already running and i will just come here and make the local host and then to admin and and now you see here we have uh, two uh, i will delete one because a v i didn't commit it if i delete you see here it's showing the name of the product here and you can see also the name of that product I have to take this out delete this a we don't need now I refresh you see we don't have that I'll make a form tag with post and the action will be I paste this and uh, URL I will give that name of delete uh, delete product I'll put this button inside this form and make the button type submit. Now what we have to do, I will go to in route of the product here. You see we have already update products. The all we done, I will make here the route of delete product. App dot route. Inside the route, I will make this delete product and then slash and int 
ID which we have passed there and I will make the methods will be equal to only post we will accept only post request and then we will define here the delete we will define here a delete product and we pass as argument ID then return to redirect uh, URL 4 to admin. I will do it product and we will get the ID of the product equal to product dot query dot get or 404 and here we are going to pass this ID. Now what will we will do we are getting this ID if we will make the condition if request method equal equal to post and then we will do I don't want to waste your time so I will just copy from this if tag and paste them all here so that we can save our time db dot session dot delete and we will delete the product then after after delete here we will make that db dot session or session dot comment and then we will do the flush and inside the flush we will tell the user the product and we will pass here the name of that product product dot name was deleted from your record and then we will give the category of success we give it a category of success return redirect URL 4 to admin if not then we are going to do flash F here then we will give can't delete the product then we will give the category of danger and uh, I forgot to make this comma here I have to put the comma so here it should be an array this is end product not products what we have to do we don't need to save that image we just need to unlink image here and I will make them in one try and this last one I will delete here and here I will just for exception I will make as exception and the exception will be as e whatever the thing is we will print here e if there is any problem I will pass this e here and let's see now I will delete now you see this one is deleted now if I go my folder there is my shop and static image you see we don't have that image so if I'm going to delete this you can see here we have that image I will also then I'll try to delete this one let's see and you can see the files removed from here and now our images are removed from folder and also from in our database now if I'm going to delete now that iPhone here iPhone X and delete if cancel so if you don't want to cancel then you can cancel if you delete and this are deleted and here the images are also removed in this way we can delete images also from the folders that's all for this video see you in the next video take care bye bye